So hi guys, so we are back. So we finished the lesson four now. So we'll come to the unit one now, which is automated business process. So we'll see what is business process now. Business process na inna a business process is an activity or a set of activities. Idhke to accomplish a specific organizational goal. Next we come to business process management. A business process management is a systematic approach. Idhke to improve these processes. This is what is business process and business process management means. Next, we come to different categories of business process. There are three categories of business process. First one, operational process. Example, O to C, sales cycle. Second, supporting process. Example, accounting or HR management. Third, management process. Example, budgeting. Business process automation. In the, the tactic of business uses to automate processes to operate efficiently and effectively. The tradition of analyzing, documenting, optimizing and then automating business processes. Next we come to the objectives of BPA. There are four objectives of BPA. Confidentiality, Integrity, Timeliness and Availability. These are the four objectives of BPA. Next, what are the benefits of BPA? Benefits in time saving, reduction in cost, visibility, governance and reliability, quality and consistency, improved operational efficiency and finally reduced turnaround times. So we have seen business process na inna, BPM na inna, categories of business processes na inna, BPA na inna, objectives of BPA na inna, benefits of BPA na inna. These are the first things in automated business process. Next we come to steps involved in BPA. What are the steps involved in BPA? First, there are 8 steps involved in BPA. First step is define why we plan to implement a BPA. Aduk inna, to answer to the question will provide Justification for implementing a BPA. Second step, understand the rules or regulations under which enterprise needs to comply with. Third, document the process we wish to automate. What should we document? The current processes which are planned to be automated need to be correctly and completely documented at this step. Fourth, define the objectives or goals to be achieved by implementing the BPA. This enables the developer and the user to understand the reasons for going for BPA. The developer has to understand. Developer and the user could put in on the BPA pan no. The goals precise are no clear are gono. Aunu could put in on understandable are gono. Fifth step. Engage the business process consultant. Once the entity has been able to define the above, number manner create definitions of goals and objectives define mana pano. The entity needs to appoint an expert. Expert is the open mana implement panda to get yark entity go so who can implement it for the entity. Sixth step. Calculate the return on investment for the project, ROI of the project. The answer to this question can be provided for convincing the top management to stay yes to the BPA exercise. If we convince the top management, we will get the return on investment, we will get the advantages of the advantages of the project. We will convince the top management to give an X for the BPA exercise. Next, step 7. Development of BPA. Once the top management grants their approval, the right business solution has to be Procured and implemented or developed and implemented covering the necessary BPA. Finally, step 8. Testing the BPA. Is it test no? Before making the process live, the business solution should be fully tested. Is all problems irka, prachana irka, illa is nala nama complete a karata or ma check money gather nala depame. So these are the 8 steps which are involved when implement the BPA. I repeat, first we define what, why we plan to implement BPA. We understand the rules and regulations why the enterprise needs to comply with. Third, we document the process. Fourth, we define the objectives and goals. Fifth, we engage the business process consultant. Sixth, we calculate the return on investment for the project. Seventh, the development of the BPA. Finally, we test the BPA. The BPA needs to follow the SMART principle. Or example, what is SMART principle? SMART is easy enough. S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant, T for timely. So, SMART is S. Smart na S le specific. Specific le it is clearly defined. Yam measurable. E C E quantifiable in monetary terms. A attainable. Achieve through best efforts. R is relevant. Relevant na na entity must be in needs of these. Finally, timely and na correct time frame kula achieve pandra ma mudi kira ma. Ida da smart principle. Ipo in the B P steps puri arthiko. Please refer case two in the book. That is automation of employee attendance for better understanding. For the BPA implementation. Next, we go to enterprise risk management. What is ERM? It is defined as a process affected by the entity, board of directors, management, and other personnel. 
designed to identify potential events that may affect the entity and manage risk to be within its risk appetite to provide reasonable assurance regarding the achievement of entity objectives. What are the benefits of ERM? First one, size opportunity, uh, seize opportunities, align risk up, uh, appetite and strategies, link growth, risk and return, enhance risk response decisions, identify and manage cross enterprise risk, minimize operations up, surprises and losses, finally provide integrated response to multiple risk. What are the components of enterprise risk management? Components of VRM in first internal environment, upper object set pandra. Objective setting, next event identification, next is risk assessment, risk assessment, risk response, pandra. then control activities, information and communication, finally monitoring. I repeat, inter environment, objective setting, event identification, risk assessment, risk response, control activities, information and communication, finally monitoring. Now risk, risk is an event that may result in a significant deviation from a planned objective resulting in an unwanted negative consequence. Risk may even lead to a loss. Risk of BPN, business process automation, and then all six are divided. First one, input and access. Second, file and data transmission. Third is processing. Fourth is output. Fourth is data. Sixth is infrastructure. These are the risks of BPA. Next, we go to different types of business risk. There are five types of business risk. First one, strategic. Next is financial. Next is regulatory. Reputational. Fifth is operational. First is strategic. That would prevent an organization from accomplishing its objectives. This is strategic risk. Second is financial risk, which will lead to a negative financial impact to the organization. Third, another, so another, third one is the regulatory risk. Another, that would expose the organization to fines, penalties due to non-compliance with the laws and regulations. Fourth is reputational. That would lead to expose the environment to negative publicity or a bad goodwill, negative goodwill. Sixth, fifth one, last operational risk that would prevent the organization from operating in the most effective and efficient manner. So these are the five types of risk in five types of business risk. Next, we are going to see internal control system. Internal controls are the system consisting of what specific policies and procedures designed to provide the management with reasonable assurance that the goals and objectives of the organization it believes important will be met. This is what internal control system means. An internal control system, it facilitates the effectiveness and efficiency of operations. It helps to safeguard the assets of the entity. Helps ensures the reliability of internal and external financial reporting. Finally, assets compliance with the applicable laws and regulations. What are the limitations of internal control? Five points. Any limitation, the cost of internal control does not exceed the expected benefits to be derived. Most internal controls do not tend to be directed at transactions of unusual nature. The possibility of circumvention of internal controls through collusion with employees or with parties outside the entity. Fourth, a person responsible for exercising internal control could abuse that responsibility. Finally, manipulation by the management with respect to the transaction estimates and judgments required in the preparation of financial statement. These are the five limitations of internal controls. Next, we move on to flow charts. Flow charts, flow charts are used in designing and documenting simple process or programs. Like other types of diagram, they help visualize what is going on and thereby help understand a process and perhaps also find flaws, bottlenecks. They are different types of flow charts and each type has its own reported of boxes and notational conventions. The two common types of boxes and flow chart are rectangular box. Then activity, processing step usually called activity and donated as a rectangular box. Next, decision usually donated as a diamond. So, rectangular box, diamond, these are the two type of boxes which are common and very important in a flow chart. Now, what are the advantages of a flow chart? No, Effective analysis, communication easier, full documentation, it will lead to efficient coding, quicker grasp of relation. Program a debug panel easier. Finally, efficient program maintenance. So these are the advantages. I repeat again. Effective analysis, communication, full documentation, effective, efficient coding, program debugging, quicker graphs of relationship. Finally, efficient program maintenance. What are the limitations of uh, flowchart now? It may be complex and it may be uh, clumsy logic. 
modifications if modifications to a flow chart are required it may require complete redrawing first layer to full ah varira mari varalam modifications edavadhu kandupidichi edavadhu debugging panni edavadhu kandupidichona next reproduction next difficult to provide a link between conditions and actions finally standardization no uniform practice is formed for drawing these are what we have seen about what is a flow chart advantages of flow chart limitations of flow chart i haven't given any flow chart example or question here if you need them please email me or please contact me in my call in my phone number next we will see what are data flow diagrams a graphical representation of what flow of data through a business process and information system i repeat again data flow diagrams na enna it is a graphical representation of a flow of data through edu a business process information system it represents what a flow of data from a source of destination this is known as a data flow diagram next we will see the risks and controls objectives for various processes i have taken two here book la nariya koduthirukom i have taken the two main things here one is the p to be procure to pay risks and controls next one the o to c order to uh, cash risks and controls risks and controls first uh, p to b la paathiralam as it is divided into two parts one is masters another is transaction what are the risks in masters now unauthorized changes to supplier master file adala and the risk enna enna control objective only valid changes can be made to the supplier master file second risk enna all valid changes to the master file are not input and process adukku enna pannu all valid changes to the supplier master files are input and process third risk enna changes to the supplier master file are not correct அதுக்கு என்ன கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் சேஞ்சஸ் சப்ளையர் மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் ஆர் அக்யூரேட் ஃபைனலி ரிஸ்க் என்ன சப்ளையர் மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் டேட்டா நாட் அப் டு டேட் அதுக்கு என்ன பண்ணும் சப்ளையர் மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் டேட்டா என்னோட அப் டு அப் டு டேட்டா இருக்கணும் அதுதான் என்னோட கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இதுதான் ஃபோர் ஆஃப் த ரிஸ்க் அண்ட் த கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் அண்ட் மாஸ்டர்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் டிரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் போடலாம் டிரான்சாக்ஷன்ல ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரிஸ்க் என்ன அன்ஆதரைஸ் பர்சேஸ் எக்யூஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ஆர்டர்ட் அதோட கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் என்ன பர்சேஸ் ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஆர் பிளேஸ் only for approved requisitions next purchase orders are not entered correctly in the system adukku enna pannuvom correct ah enter pannuvom purchase order accurately entered next amount are posted in accounts payable for goods or services not received ange enna pannuvom amounts posted in accounts payable represent goods or services received next risk enna amounts posted to the accounts payable are not properly calculated and recorded ange enna pannuvom control object enna it should be properly and accurately calculated and recorded next risk enna amounts for goods or services received and are recorded in the wrong period inga enna pannom correct and appropriate period la control object va irukanum final enna all disbursements are not recorded inga enna pannom all disbursements should be recorded these are the risk and the control object under transactions for p2p next we'll go on to o to c sales adha risk and controls enna paapom adha first process enna first order order finish delivery invoicing collections and accounting this is the process இப்போ மாஸ்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் டிரான்சாக்ஷன் திருப்பி ரெண்டா டிவைட் ஆயிருக்கு மாஸ்டர்ஸ்ல என்ன ரிஸ்க் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் பாப்போம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரிஸ்க் என்ன மாஸ்டர் என்ன த கஸ்டமர் மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் இஸ் நாட் மெயின்டெய்ன் ப்ராப்பர்லி அண்ட் தி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இஸ் நாட் அக்யூரேட் வாட் இஸ் தி கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஃபார் தட் தி கண்ட்ரோல் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் தி மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் ஷட் பீ மெயின்டெய்ன் ப்ராப்பர்லி அண்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஷட் பீ அக்யூரேட் செகண்ட் ரிஸ்க் என்ன இன்வாலிட் चेंजेस ஆர் மேட் டு தி கஸ்டமர் மாஸ்டர் ஃபைல் only valid changes have to be made to the customer valid master file third risk enna changes to the customer master file are not accurate inga accurate ah irukanum that is my control objective fourth changes to the customer master file are not processed in a timely manner it should be processed in a timely manner is my control objective customer master file data is not up to date and relevant it has to be up to date and relevant is my control objective so these are the five risk and control objective under masters for uh, o to c next we'll go on to the transactions what is my first risk under transactions order are processed exceeding credit trim, customer credit limits without approvals it has to be within the approved customer credit limits that is my control objective next risk is orders are not approved by the management as to the prices and terms to sale it has to be approved by the management as to the price and terms of the sale is my control objective the third risk is under the transaction is orders and cancellations of orders are not input accurately that it has to be input accurately that is my control objective what is my fourth risk under transaction invoices are not accurately calculated and recorded inga vande invoices are accurately calculated and record is my control objective finally goods ship are not invoice ellame invoice pannu all the goods ship are invoice is my control objective so these are the risk and objectives under master and transaction under o2c next we'll move on to the regulatory and compliance requirement what are the salient feature of section 134 and section 143 of the companies act 2013 
Section 143 of the Companies Act in a sort of it talks about the financial statement, board report, etc., which states what the director responding statement referred in clause C of subsection 3 shall state that state what does it state the director had taken proper and sufficient care for the maintenance of adequate accounting records in accordance with the provisions of this act for what safeguarding the assets of the company and for preventing and detecting fraud and other irregularities. It also states that the directors in the case of listed companies have laid down internal financial controls to be followed by the company and that such internal financial controls are adequate and were operating efficiently. This is what section 134 of the Companies Act which states on the financial statement, boards report etc. Section 143 and the of the Companies Act now, it talks about the powers and duties of the auditors and auditing standards which states what section 143.3 contains the audit report which states whether the company has adequate internal control systems in place and operating efficiency and effectiveness of such controls. You will see further things in auditing under these two sections and under company law and under the law subject. Next we talk about Information Technology Act which is the IT Act. This act, what does it aim? To provide legal infrastructure for e-commerce in India. In the act, it aims to provide the legal framework for what legal sanctity with two all the electronic records and other activities which are carried which are carried out electronically. This is what the IT Act aims for. What are the advantages of cyber law is what we are going to see next. From the perspective of e-commerce in India, IT Act and its provision contains more positive aspects which are as follows. First one, and email would now be valid. Email is valid right now. It is the legal form of communication in India. Next, the company shall now be able to carry out electronic commerce. Third, digital signatures have now been given legal validity. Uh, previously, we used to sign it in papers. Now, digital signatures, we can we can sign it electronically. It has given me legal validity and sanction in this act. Fourth, corporate companies in the business of being certifying authorities for issuing digital signature certificates. So, first four points are email validity. Digital signatures have begun now given uh, legal validity and san uh, sanction in the act. Companies are now be able to carry out electronic commerce. Next one, the corporate companies are being given the certifying authorities for issuing digital signature certificates. Government to issue notification on the web. Finally, enables the company to file any form, application or document. Uh, previously, we used to go to the offices physically directly to file. Now, we can all do it electronically and it is controlled by the appropriate government in electronic form. These are the advantages of cyber laws. Next, we move on to computer related offenses. What are the uh, computer related offenses in, in that common cyber crime offenses? Let us look at some of the common crime offenses. Harassment via fake pub, uh, public profile on uh, networking site, credit card fraud, web defectment, email, ha email account hacking, cyber terrorism, online sales of illegal articles, psyching and email, email scams, theft of confidential data, introducing virus, worms, Backdoors, Trojan horses, bugs, these are all the offenses come of the common cyber crime scenarios. Next, we move on to the main principles on data protection and privacy enumerated under the IT Act 2000. What, what are the main principles? I first define what data, computer database, information, electronic form, originator, address, etc. Next, creating civil liability. Next, I create civil uh, criminal liability of uh, if any person accesses or secures secures access to a computer, computer system or a computer network. So, first one I define data, computer database, information, all along. Next, I create civil liability, criminal liability. Fourth one, uh, declaring any computer, computer system or computer network as a protected system. Fifth one, I impose penalty if there is any violation of uh, or any breach of confidentiality and privacy. Finally, setting up of hierarchy of Regulatory authorities, namely educating officers, the cyber regulatory appellate tribunal, etc. Finally, we come to the cyber crime. The term cyber crime finds no option either in the Information Technology Act 2000 or in any legalization of the country. With this, we come to the end of lesson 1. Next, we move on to lesson 5. Lesson 5 talks about core banking system. Now, we come to the overview or the key features of a banking uh, business. The custody of large volumes of monetary items including cash and negotiable instruments whose physical security should be ensured. Next, dealing in large volumes of what transactions. Next, 
operating through a wide network of branches and departments which are geographically dispersed. Last, increased possibility of frauds as banks directly deal with money. This is the overview or key features of a banking business. Then we move on to the core banking services provided by the commercial banks. There are nine services basically. Easy and average. Accept terms of deposits. Deposits accept under the advances. Granting or advances. Next, remittances, collections. Fifth one, clearing. Sixth, letter of credits and guarantee. Credit card, debit card, other banking services. This is the nine things. Other banking services are real. Retail banking, HNIs, high network individual, risk management, specialized services such as underwriting, insurance brokerage, insurance broking, etc. Next, we come to IT risk and challenges in bank. What are the IT risks and challenges? First one, frequent changes or obsolescence of technology. Second, participability and complexity of systems. Third, different types of controls or different types of technology. Fourth, proper alignment with business objectives and legal and regulatory requirement. Fifth, dependence on vendors due to outsourcing of IT services. Sixth, SOD, segregation of duty. Seven, external threats leading to cyber frauds or crime. Eight, Higher impact due to intentional or unintentional acts of internal employee. Finally, need to ensure continuity of business process in event of a major disaster. These are the IT risks and challenges in a bank. Next, we move on to what is a risk, risk analysis and risk assessment. Risk analysis is a potential harm caused if a threat exploits a particular vulnerability to cause damage to an asset. For example, inadequate security in a vulnerability which could lead to exploit, exploited by a hacker. Risk analysis nine nine It is defined as a process of identifying a security risk and determining the magnitude and impact on the organization. And the risk nala, I am aware, custom and I am every impact on financial impact agala, anything impact agala. Information system can generate many direct and indirect risk. Next, the risk assessment nine risk may be mitigated by implementing risk assessment. A risk assessment type every part of the involves the following identification of threats and vulnerabilities. First, we identify what are the threats and vulnerabilities. Then we identify and analyze the security controls for information system. Finally, the impact or the magnitude that causes the harm or the loss to the loss of security to the enterprise or the enterprise assets is the moon risk assessment. Next, we talk about IT risk management. IT risk management every panel, avoid panel, mitigate panel, transfer panel, accept panel. Avoid na na, we just eliminate the risk. Mitigate na na, we implement the risk, we accept panel. Uh, mitigate now we implement the risk example acquire and deploy security proper controls at the in IT infrastructure transfer and insurance policies at the law we share it with the insurance company finally we accept it we formally acknowledge the risk exists and we monitor it examples of IT risk related to banking and risk to data risk to data other risk risk to data real and unauthorized data changes absence of logs and audit trails Unauthorized transaction, unauthorized entry. Moon unauthorized is easy and unauthorized data changes, unauthorized transaction, unauthorized entry correction relations, last absence of logs and audit trails. Other risk and uh, incorrect interest computation and incorrect computation of charges, payment of stopped checks and payment of duplicate drafts, opening new bank account without complying with KYC, finally unauthorized or incorrect interest rate changes. Next we see examples of Internal controls in banking. Examples of internal controls in, uh, in banking where work of one member should be supervised by another member. Maker checkup concept basically. Here, one work done by other should be checked or supervised by another. Second, a system or job rotation among staff should exist. For example, a person has been working for three months. I would ask him to go for a leave of five days. In that five days, I, I would check what all the work is done, any fraud has been committed or not. Next. Financial and administrative powers of each official or a position is fixed and communicated to all the person concerned. Next, all the books are to be balanced periodically. Details of lost security forms are immediately advised to be controlled so that there is an exercise caution. Last, fraud prone items like currency, valuables, draft forms, term deposit receipts, traveler's checks and other such security forms are in the custody of at least two officials of the bank. Suppose one person goes on leave or some person retires, so other person will also know what the other person is doing and he will also have the control of what the other person has done. So two, it is always advisable to have two officials for that branch. Next we will see what are the examples of IT controls in banks. The IT controls in banks are the system maintains a record of all the logs in the logs out. Next, if the transaction is sought out to be posted to a dormant or inoperative account, 
the processing is halted and can be pro it can be processed with only a supervisory password next a system checks where the amount to be withdrawn is within the drawing power access to the system is available only between the stipulated hours and specified days only i cannot i cannot go access it uh, always i can only with i can only access it within the stipulated hours and days specified next exception situation such as limited access retrieving dormant accounts etc can be handled only with the valid supervisory level password finally once the end of the day is over the ledgers cannot be opened without a supervisory level password these are the examples of it controls in bank next we'll come to the classification of it controls there are two there, these controls are classified into two type one is general controls second one is application control general controls uh, examples and application controls example and then i'll tell you general control examples first one information security policy second one is administration access and authentication third is separation of key id functions fourth is management of systems acquisition and implementation fifth change management sixth is backup recovery and business continuity seventh confidentiality integrity and availability of software and data files finally incident response and management these are the eight examples of general controls then we move on to the examples of application controls first one editing of data second one separation of business function adu or example enna transaction initiation versus authorization third one balancing of processing controls debit and credit of transactions are tallied fourth one transaction logging which means all the transactions are identified with unique ids and lodged fifth one error reporting where the errors in errors in processing are reported finally exception reportings where all the exceptions are reported examples of c based software and finacle fin1 flexcube bancs bankmate first one easy ah irukalam mood f finacle fin1 flexcube these are the examples of c based software what are the key aspects inbuilt into the cbs architecture paaka porom four things main ah idla information flow customer centric regulatory compliance resource optimization what is information flow now facilitates information flow within the bank and improves the speed and accuracy of decision making this is what one of the aspects which is inbuilt into a cbs architecture second one is customer centric what is the customer centric it enables the bank educate to target customers with the right offers at the right time with the right channel to increase profitability easy ah avichukla first enna pannu banks enna pannuvanga target customer target customers pannuvanga with the right offers right time la pannuvanga right channel la pannuvanga edukku to increase profitability next is regulatory compliance regulatory compliance na epume regulatory epume updated ah irukanum it will regulate it will regularly update uh, information on the platform that ensures regulatory compliance next we move on to resource optimization optimizes utilization of information and resources of banks and lower cost through improved asset reusability faster turnaround times faster processing and increased accuracy now we come on to some core features of cbs what are the core features of cbs ni kettaa online real time processing centralized operation transactions on all databases are posted immediately remote interaction with the customer daily half yearly quarterly annual closing authorization occurs with the application next automatic processing of standing instructions finally any time anywhere access to customer vendors etc these are some of the core features of cbs next we move on to major components of cbs nalla naam vechukonga idu core features ipo components of cbs what are the components of cbs easy opening of bank accounts and customer onboarding what we do next is any deposits and withdrawals will manage next transaction management from initiation to reporting interest calculation and management payments process pandro loan disbursement manno processing of cash deposits and withdrawals processing and servicing loans uh, accounts management accounts management crm activities maintaining records for all the bank transaction finally configure and calculating interest these are the major components of cbs next we move, next we next we will talk about how does the cbs work first the planning planning lane approval approval lane selection selection lane design and develop design and develop பண்ணனும் டெஸ்ட் பண்ணனும் டெஸ்ட் லைன் இம்ப்ளிமென்ட் பண்றோம் இம்ப்ளிமென்ட் மெயின்டெய்ன் பண்ணனும் மெயின்டெய்ன் லைன் சப்போர்ட் வர்க் வெச்சுக்கணும் சப்போர்ட் லைன் அப்டேட் பண்ணனும் ஃபைனலி ஆடிட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் என்ன பண்ணனும் நம்ம பிளான் பண்ணனும் 
பிளான் பண்ணி நமக்கு ஸ்வெட்ஸ் இதுக்கு சூட்டபுளா இருக்குமா நம்ம பேங்க்கு ஒர்க் ஆகுமா ஆகாதான் பண்ணணும் ஒன்ஸ் வி பிளான் பண்ணணும்னா வி ஹவ் டு கெட் த அப்ரூவல் ஆஃப் த டாப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அப்ரூவல் பண்ணணும் வி செலக்ட் இன் தட் இஸ் நோட் அ செலக்ஷன் செலக்ஷன்ல டிசைன் அண்ட் டெவலப் அக்கார்டிங் டு த ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பேங்க் தென் வி டெஸ்ட் இட் சாம்பிள் டெஸ்ட்லாம் நடத்தணும் தென் வி இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் இட் இன் ஆக்சுவல் டைம் தென் வில் மெயின்டைன் இட் ஃப்ரம் டைம் டு டைம் வி வில் ஹாவ் அ சப்போர்ட் சிஸ்டம் ஃபார் தட் தென் வில் கீப் அப்டேட்டிங் இட் அக்கார்டிங் டு த லேட்டஸ்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஃபைனலி வில் ஆடிட் இட் திஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு த சிபிஎஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் வேரியஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சர்வர் யூஸ் இன் சிபிஎஸ் ஐடி என்வரன்மெண்ட் the server is a sophisticated computer that accepts service requests from different machine called clients the requests are processed by the server and sent back to the client this server is powerful and robust system as performs the entire core banking operation cbs is developed as internet based application and therefore can be accessed through browser application adu adila first application server na enna paakrom application server is what all the transaction of the customer are processed by the data center it would be observed that whatever operation a customer may do at any of the branches of the bank the accounting process being centralized at the centralized data center is updated at the centralized database the application server perform necessary operation and this updates the account of the customer in the database server this is the application server next we move on to database server database server na and database server of the bank contains all the data of the bank the data consists of various accounts of the customers master data ipo suppose eight uh, application server atm server internet banking application server would access the database server the data contained in the database must be secure and no direct access should be permitted to prevent unauthorized changes only the database administrator does the maintenance of the database server next we come to atm channel server atm na an automated teller machine this server enna pannu it enna contain pannu details of atm account holders when the central database is busy and till the database becomes accessible the atm transactions are processed and the balance available in the atm server once the central database server becomes accessible all the transaction that took place till such time as the central database become unaccessible would be updated in the central database this ensures up to date central database next we come on to ibcs ibcs means internet banking channel server the internet banking channel server internet banking database server enna solradhu na it stores the username passwords of the internet banking customer ibcs internet banking channel server software stores the name password of the entire banking customers it serves all it the server contains all the details about the branch to which the uh, customer belongs next we come on to internet bank application server it's which is stored in the ibas authenticates the customer with with the login details stored in the ibcs next we come to web pros web server web server is used to host all the web services and internet related software all the online requests and websites are hosted and serviced through the web servers all computers that host web servers must have web servers program next we come to proxy server proxy server na enna it is a computer that offers a computer network service for what to allow clients to make indirect network connection to the network services a client connects to eduk proxy server for what and then request for a connection file or other resource available on a different server finally we come on to antivirus software server antivirus software server edhuk use pandranga to host antivirus software which is deployed for ensuring all the software deployed at first scan to ensure that appropriate virus or malware scans are performed next we come on to the concept of core business process flow and relevant risk and controls first we will see the process flow or casa facility first enna pannom or customer approaches the relation relationship manager for what to apply for the casa facility or apply for uh, internet or, or he, will, he will apply it through the internet banking second once the customer agrees for availing the facility or the products of the bank the relationship manager requests for relevant documents relevant documents kepa third on the documents received by the received from the customer are handed over to the credit team or risk team for checking the limits of the customer next fourth point credit teams verifies the documents our documents la verify panitte correct ah iruka you see credit worthiness of the borrowers and updates the facility in the customer account next current or uh, account savings account uh, 
along with the facilities requested are provided to the customer for daily functioning. Next is customers can avail facilities such as check deposit, withdrawal, etc. Now we will see what are the risks and the key controls. First risk is that credit line setup is unauthorized and not in line with the bank policy. Anga unauthorized are it is not with the bank policy, it is a risk. Adora control na the credit committee checks the financial ratios, the net worth, the risk factors and its corresponding mitigating factors, the credit line offered and the credit amount etc. is in line with the credit risk policy and that the client can be given the credit line. Next risk can I note the credit line setup in CBS is unauthorized and not in line with the bank policy. It should be restricted, it should be within the policy. Access rise to the authorized credit limit in case of account setup system that has to be restricted to authorized personnel. Next is can a customer master defined in CBS is not in accordance with the pre disbursement certificate. It has to be according to the disbursement certificate. Next is in inaccurate interest or charge being calculated in CBS. Other control in a interest on Fund based facilities are automatically calculated in the CBS as per the defined rules and policies. Next risk, fifth risk can unauthorized personal approving the CASAS transaction in CBS. Other key control and segregation of duties to be maintained between the initiator and the authorization of the transaction for processing the transaction in the CBS. Final risk, inaccurate accounting entries generated in CBS. Other control and accounting entries are generated by the CBS basis. The CBS bases the facility requested by the customer and bases defined configuration for those facilities in the CBS. Next we talk about the risk associated with the CBS. What are the risks associated with the CBS? Ownership of data or process, authentication procedure, authorization procedure, several software interfaces across diverse networks. These are the four risks associated with the CBS. Next, maintaining response time, user identity management, access controls, and incident handling procedure. So there are basically eight risks associated with the CBS. I repeat the eight risks again. Ownership of data or process, authentication procedure, authorization procedure, several software interfaces across diverse network, maintaining response time, user identity management, access control, incident handling procedure. Next we come on to the concept of the IT related risk and mitigating controls in the business perspective. What are the IT related risk and mitigating controls? First is confidentiality, second is integrity, third is availability, fourth is compliance, fifth is reliability, effectiveness and efficiency. Confidentiality and a soldier there. If the critical data is lost and unauthorized disclosure happens, data confidentiality is lost. Integrity is what? If the critical data is unauthorized, modified and procedure is incomplete or inaccurate, data due uh, inaccurate data Due to the errors in inputs or processing, data in integrity will get affected. Next is availability. It has to be available all, all times. Information system is not available when required. Next is compliance. Information system does not comply with legal, regulatory, contractual or internal compliance requirements. Next is reliability. If the system will not provide accurate financial information, users will lose their confidence in information system. Last two are effectiveness and efficiency. What does effectiveness say? If the system is not able to meet the user requirement, it will not, it will affect the effectiveness. Efficiency, if the system is not responding within the stipulated time, it will affect the efficiency. So these are the risk related and mitigating controls in the business perspective. I repeat the subtopic again, confidentiality, integrity, availability, compliance, reliability, effectiveness and efficiency. Next we come on to the sub process of data center and network operation to control IT related risk. Other dealer we will see backups and restoring of data, job and batch scheduling of processes, monitoring of application and supporting servers, value added or service level agreements. Next, last is user training and qualification of operational persons. Next, we come to the risk and control of application software. Now, in a risk, other uh, key control in a in a risk first, interest may be inaccurately computer leading to incorrect recording or income or expenditure. That is the key control. Income should be, uh, interest should be automatically correctly computed. Digits are rounded off appro appropriately. Interest is accurately uh, accrued. Second risk, inappropriate reversal of charges resulting in loss of revenue. 
அதோட கீ கண்ட்ரோல் என்ன சிஸ்டம் டஸ் நாட் பர்மிட் ரிவர்சல் ஆஃப் தி சார்ஜஸ் இன் எக்ஸஸ் ஆஃப் தி オリジナル அமௌண்ட் சார்ஜ் थर्ड ரிஸ்க் என்ன இன்ஆப்ரோப்ரியட் செட்டப் ஆஃப் அக்கவுண்ட்ஸ் ரிசல்ட்டிங் வயலேஷன் ஆஃப் பிசினஸ் ரூல்ஸ் அதோட கீ கண்ட்ரோல் என்ன தி சிஸ்டம் பாராமீட்டர் ஆர் செட்டப் ஆஸ் பெர் தி பிசினஸ் process rules of the bank what is my fourth risk of application software incorrect classification and provisioning of nps resulting in financial misstatement what is the key control for that risk is configuration or customization which should exist in the application to perform the npa classification as per the relevant rules of rbi and rbi guidelines this i come to the fifth risk what is the fifth risk duplicate asset records may be created ownership of asset may not be clearly established அதோட கீ கண்ட்ரோல் என்ன யூனிக் ஐடி இஸ் கிரியேட்டட் ஃபார் ஈச் அசெட் ஈச் அசெட் இஸ் அசைன் டு ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் பிசினஸ் யூனிட் அண்ட் யூசர் டு எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் ஓனர்ஷிப் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த ஃபை ரிஸ்க் அண்ட் ஃபை கீ கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் அண்டர் த அப்ளிகேஷன் சாஃப்ட்வேர் தென் வி மூவ் ஆன் டு த ஃபோர் கேட்வேஸ் ஆஃப் அப்ளிகேஷன் சாஃப்ட்வேர் வாட் ஆர் த ஃபோர் கேட்வேஸ் வி டாக் அபவுட் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் வி டாக் அபவுட் மாஸ்டர்ஸ் வி டாக் அபவுட் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி வி டாக் அபவுட் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் நோ configuration refers to what the way of software system is set up for use configuration is the first step after installing the software configuration will define how software will function and what menu options is displayed example of a configuration is user access and privileges configuration and its management password management etc after configuration we move on to the second gateway which is the masters master refers to the setting parameters for various types of products and service type as per the software modules after configuring the software the master are set up first time during the installation and these are changed whenever the business process rules or values example of master is custom master employee master etc you can even have example of a payroll master what is a, what are the transaction which is the third gateway of application software transaction and uh, transaction refers to end the actual transaction of various products and services which can be used which can be used using menus and which can be used by menus and functions and by customer through internet or mobile banking the transactions are allowed based on user access and access authentication matrix set example of transaction and deposit transaction advances transaction etc finally we come to the fourth gateway of application software what is the fourth gateway reports reports and users can they any time any reports eduthukalam and the mari the reports users at different levels use information which is processed by the computers this information can be in form of reports which are periodically generated or on demand the reports could be used for monitoring the operations as also for tracking the performance example of reports and reports of exception mis reports summary of transaction per of the day etc these are the four gateways of application software i repeat what are the four gateways configuration masters transactions reports example of configuration is user access and privileges con- configuration its management password management etc masters are example customer ma- customer master employee master payroll master transaction or example deposit transaction advance transaction etc reports or example ms reports reports of exceptions and summary of transaction of the day these are the examples of reports then we move on to the applicable regulatory and compliance requirement what are the four applicable regulatory and compliance requirements first is the banking regulation act next is the rbi regulations then is the money laundering act finally we come on to the it act these are the four applicable regulatory and compliance requirements then we move on to the basic and key functions of rbi there are four basic functions of rbi and three key functions of rbi number four basic functions and then first to talk about first basic function is to regulate the issue of bank notes second to keep keeping of reserves with a view to securing monetary stability in india third to operate the currency and credit system of the country to its advantage finally the primary objective of the banking and financial services is to undertake consolidated supervision of the financial sector comprising commercial banks financial institution and non banking finance company so these are the four basic function of rbi what are the three key functions of rbi which is easy to remember it is a issuer of currency it is a monetary authority regulatory and supervisor of the finance system i repeat the three key function issuer of currency monetary authority regulator and supervisor of the finance system these are the four basic functions and three key functions of rbi next we move on to the concept of money laundering 
what do you think about money laundering money laundering na enna basic ah enna pandrathu it is a process by which the proceeds of the crime and the true ownership of these proceeds are concealed or made opaque so that the proceeds appear to come from a legitimate source it is nothing but it is converting the dirty money which appears to be clean or the profits of the criminal activities are made to the made to appear legitimate money laundering in simpler terms na enna na it is converting the dirty money into clean money the key aspects of pmla are as follows first one maintenance of record of all cash transaction about 10 lakhs adha and the information such information should be submitted to the director every month epo before 15th of the succeeding month i repeat it again maintenance of record all the cash transaction about 10 lakhs such information should be submitted to whom the director before epo every month before the 15th of the succeeding month second all cash transactions here forged or counterfeit notes have been used and all suspicious transaction made in cash or otherwise in the information tarta kudukano same submitted to the director epo every month within a period of 7 working days these are the two key aspects of pmls which are next we move on to the three stages of money laundering what are the three stages first one is placement second one is layering third one integration these are the three stages of money laundering i repeat the three stages again placement layering integration what is placement stage this is the first stage of money laundering this involves of placement of proceeds derived from illegal activities the movement of proceeds frequently currency from the scene of the crime to a place or into a form less suspicious and more convenient for the criminal this is the first stage enna solran this proceeds placement of proceeds every derive pandran illegal activities lend the illegal activities movement of proceeds frequently currency from the scene of the crime to the place or into a form less suspicious and more convenient for the criminal next stage is layering layering is the second stage of money laundering layering involves the separation of proceeds from illegal sources using complex transactions through several banks involved in the transfer in, involved in the transfer of money between different accounts in different in different names in different countries designed to obscure the audit trail and hide the proceeds undumeyle is simple ah purinjikarna it is separation of proceeds from illegal source using another complex transaction through several banks enna the transfer pandra transfer of money between different accounts which are in different names from different countries edukku end audit trail irukka koodadhu yaaru idu kandupidik koodadhu this is known as layering the criminals frequently use shell corporations or offshore banks or countries with loose regulation and securely loss for this purpose in the mari indha da audit trail irukadhu namba thappa easy ah marikalam it changes the form of money that is from black money to white money by purchasing the assets by utilizing black money such as boats houses cars diamonds etc this is the second stage of money laundering which is known as layering finally we come to the third stage which is known as integration integration involves conversion of illegal proceeds into apparently legitimate business earning through normal financial or commercial operations for example false invoices for goods exported domestic loan against a foreign deposit purchasing of property these are the examples of integration i repeat the three stages of money laundering placement layering integration finally we come to the computer related offenses there are six computer related offenses first one is section 65 which talks about tampering with computer source documents section 65 ana solrudhu tampering with computer uh, computer source documents adoda penalty ena imprisonment up to 3 years or fine fine yolo 2 lakhs up to 2 lakhs imprisonment up to 3 years fine up to 2 lakhs or both section 65 talks about tampering with computer related documents imprisonment up to 3 years fine up to 2 lakhs or both next section 66 which talks about computer related offenses aduk enna aduk enna penalty imprisonment up to 3 years fine up to 2 lakhs or both next we come to 66 b section 66 b talks about punishment for dishonestly receiving stolen computer resource or communication device 
அதோட இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் என்ன அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் ஆர் போத் இதுல காமனா பாத்தீங்கன்னா இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் எல்லாமே அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ஈஸி டு நவம்பர் பஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் என்ன சொல்றது இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அங்க ஃபைன் அப் டு டூ லேக்ஸ் ஆர் போத் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் என்னது இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஃபைவ் லேக்ஸ் ஆர் போத் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் பி என்ன சொல்றது இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் ஆர் போத் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீல் டாக் அபவுட் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் சி விச் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் பனிஷ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் பனிஷ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் ஐடென்டிட்டி தெப்ட் அதுக்கு என்ன பெனால்டி சேம் இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் ஆர் கிடையாது இங்க நல்லா பார்க்க வேண்டியது அண்ட் இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி டாக் அபவுட் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் டி பனிஷ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் சீட்டிங் பை பர்சானிபிகேஷன் பை யூசிங் கம்ப்யூட்டர் ரிசோர்ஸ் அதுக்கு என்ன பெனால்டி சேம் எஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் சி இம்ப்ரெசன்மெண்ட் அப் டு த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் நாட் ஆர் அண்ட் ஃபைன் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் ருபீஸ் last we talk about section 66e which is punishment for violation of privacy which is imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 2 lakhs or both which is as uh, which which is as penalty of six, section 65 so i repeat the section numbers and the penalties again section 65 and sollradhu imprisonment up to 3 up to 3 years fine up to 2 lakhs or both section 66 and sollradhu penalty ena imprisonment up to 3 years fine up to 5 lakhs or both section 66b imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 1 lakh or both 66c imprisonment up to 3 years and fine up to 1 lakh 663 66d imprisonment up to 3 years and fine up to 1 lakh finally 66e imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 2 lakhs or both these are the six computer related offenses with this we come to the end of day one topics chapter 2 and 3 will be continued tomorrow please feel free to call whatsapp or email any of your doubts or queries thank you